Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing to share with you all. This is from DIY Moon Shop or Die Moon Shop and I picked up a couple of their uh, Cheruki Halloween witch releases uh, a, a month or two ago and this has just been sitting waiting for me to unbox with you all and so I thought I would go ahead and dive into this with you guys today. So let me go ahead and start opening up this packaging and hi, how are you guys doing today? I hope that your day is off to a wonderful start. Uh, now to give you um, just a couple of quick notes about DIY Moonshop. Uh, they recently switched over to shipping directly from their manufacturer and they used to ship everything um, uh, like from their location in the Philippines and they started shipping, like I said, directly from their manufacturer and they added in boxes and stuff. So there have been some relatively recent changes. Um, I am, just so you know, I am an affiliate for DIY Moonshop, though I did make this purchase myself with my own money and I strive really, really, really hard to be completely transparent and honest and as unbiased as I possibly can be. But part of that is making sure you guys know about any affiliate relationships that I have, especially when I'm doing an unboxing for a company. Um, but yes, just wanted to let you know that I do have that affiliate relationship, but um, if you happen to decide to make a purchase from DIY Moonshop and want to let them know that I sent you, you can just include my um, name or just write like diamonds and washi in the notes section at checkout. If there are any current promotions or coupons running um, that I can offer, I will be sure to add those in the description box. Those tend to change and update like from month to month and pretty regularly. So that's the best place to check for any discount codes that I have to share. I'll try to keep that up to date. Anyway, I have two kits here. It looks like the boxes get did just get just a tiny bit crunched, but just the one on the one end. Uh, so yeah, we have these boxes here and there's a sticker on the end <laughs> that uh, shows what is inside. Uh, so this is, I don't remember the exact name of it. I'll take a look once we get inside, but um, it's a cute little witch bunny <laughs> from, I think Mint Katie is the name of it. And then this one, is um, Witch and Her Familiars from Cheruki, which I absolutely adore. So let's start with the Witch and Her Familiars. <laughs> Cheruki is one of my favorite artists that Dye Moon Shop licenses from. Um, and when I ordered this particular kit, there was just one size available. And I was a little bit nervous that the size was not gonna be big enough for the image. So I decided to get it in squares so that I would get the maximum amount of detail. I think that Dye, uh, Dye Moon Shop has since Hold on a second. Okay. I believe that they've since added an additional size that's available in a larger size. So that should be an option at least. Okay, there's a little bit, I feel a little bit of stickiness there. Like maybe the glue went a little bit past. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. The canvas backing is incredibly soft and plush. We have this gray border. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, I love this image. And as soon as I saw that they were getting this one, I had to have it. Had to, had to, had to have it. I am still a little bit nervous about the size. I hope that the detail is gonna work okay on this image and this size. Um, the size is 50 by 73 centimeters. So um, this is an image that has been legally licensed by Dye Moon Shop from the artist Cheruki. That means that they have both gotten permission from the artist and are compensating the artist for the use of her artwork. I have completed a few different kits from Dye Moon Shop, including I think at least one or two from Cheruki, and really, really love how her artwork turns out. Here's some of the tools included in our basic toolkit, a basic pen and squishy, and there's a multi-placer here as well as one on the end there. We have a pair of pointy tweezers with a cover on them as well. And then we have, um, a basic white tray, and then we have pink wax squares and a caddy. Interesting, <laughs> we have both. So there's our basic toolkit. We'll look at the diamonds here in just a little bit. I wanna take a look at the canvas. So it is a little bit crunched, a little bit rolled on the ends, but um, I just recently completed the kit Hades and Persephone from Diamond Shop. I'm gonna do a dedicated post review video on that here pretty soon. 
Um, and it was one of these newer canvases that came in the box and is the same kind of canvas material and layout and stuff. And it is laying, now complete, <laughs> it's laying perfectly flat. It's holding the diamonds beautifully. And I'm so, so, so incredibly happy with how it turned out. I'm planning to do a video tomorrow for week eight of drills and chills, depending on when you watch this, <laughs> where you'll also get to see that that kit completed again. And I'll do kind of like a mini recap of it, but I'll do a dedicated post review video of it as well. And you can see it, com the completed image on Instagram too. The plastic cover is a little thin. It doesn't want to roll down as neatly, but the reason I just peeled that back and laid it down is because that's one way to help this lay flat really well. Yeah. One thing I am noticing is that it feels like the poured glue up here at the top. Like there's a little bit of poured glue that went, it's a little bit sticky in a couple of spots up here. So I might take like a little bit of rubbing alcohol to kind of clean off that part. Uh, the poured glue is nice and sticky. I haven't had any issues with diamonds falling off the canvases I've completed from these, these newer sets, but here, let me show you up close a few different things. So first there's that really pretty neutral gray border. Uh, the edges of the canvas are, they're scalloped and they're finished. It's not sticky here at all. Um, I didn't have to worry. I didn't see any fraying. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about fraying on these canvases. Here's that drill field, by the way, they use alphanumeric symbols, which uh, to be honest, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about just personally, because I find that alphanumeric symbols uh, don't tend to stand out to my brain as clearly as if there are some like non alphanumeric symbols mixed in there. Uh, so that is one thing that I kind of wish that their manufacturer did differently, but there are several companies, actually, it's not just DIY Moonshop. There are several companies that do this where they just have alphanumeric symbols and some people love it. It's not my personal favorite, but, um, it just takes me, I feel like just a tiny bit longer to complete the sections because uh, I feel like I have to take a little bit longer to hunt for symbols. But I do have to say, looking at this, the symbols are printed very clearly. I am not seeing any blurriness whatsoever. I don't see any that it's like, oh shoot, I think I'm gonna mix these two up or anything like that. Like that cute little pumpkin. <laughs> As we've gotten down to the bottom of the canvas, by the way, here's their branding. We've got a thumbnail. There's that original artwork. The title again is The Witch and Her Familiars by Cheriyuki, 50 by 73 centimeters. And then I got this one in square drills. Now, a lot of um, Dai Moon Shop's canvases and kits, uh, you get to basically sort of customize and, and they make them to order. A lot of their canvases, like I, like I said, I believe this one now they do offer in an additional larger size as well you can choose from. You pick the size and you also get to choose if you want round or square diamonds. The other kit that I got has round diamonds um, and I picked it that way on purpose. <laughs> I believe that squares still do cost a little bit more than round diamonds do. Uh, that's just how it ends up working out for them and how they do their, their um, their listings and stuff like that, that you pay a little bit more if you're going to get squares, uh, 36 colors in total. They did generally decrease the number of colors in their kits because they got a lot of feedback about too much confetti in their kits. I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure how fewer colors would turn out, but like I said, I honestly was pretty happy with how Hades and Persephone turned out that I just finished last month. So, um, I was happy with the number of colors in that instance, and I'm hoping that it's going to work out well in this case as well. So yeah, we do have the legend here at the bottom. Um, we have the legend number, the symbol, and then the DMC. Most diamond painting companies use the DMC color code for their colors. So like DMC 152 is always going to be the same color across the board. Um, and yeah, so they use the DMC color code. They did include an AB, it looks like. And the way that Diamond Shop seems to do it now is that uh, they do chart ABs. But what they do, you'll see we have two symbol Fs here. <laughs> you can choose uh, if you want to use the regular diamond or the AB version of that diamond or a mix. There might be some areas you want to use them and some areas not. So they'll have included both of those colors for us. And I kind of like that they give you that option and you can decide like, oh, okay, yeah, I would do want to use ABs here or, you know, there or whatnot. So <laughs> let's do a really quick measurement and see if we are true to size. So we are at uh, exactly, actually, 73 centimeters, top to bottom, which is what it is listed as. And then we are at, 
a tick shy of 50 centimeters left to right. So it is true to size. Look at how cute she is. I adore Cheriyuki's artwork. I love all the like the cute little white bunnies. It's a very, um, like soft effect as far as artwork goes. And a lot of Diamond Shop's artists have this kind of like fine art, soft, soft vibe, watercolor vibe sometimes. And I, I really, really love it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at these diamonds. Okay, so we do have an included inventory sheet here. And what I actually usually do is I will cut out this original artwork and put that in my logbook. And then over here, since this is a, a little legend and kind of inventory sheet here, I'm going to cut this out so that I can see the code, like the symbol rather, and the DMC code. And I'm going to feed that through a little sticker maker that I have. I'll link to a couple of different sticker maker options down in the description box, but I'll make labels like little label stickers out of these and then put these onto storage containers when I kit up, which is where I take the diamonds and take them out of these baggies and put them into storage containers. So I appreciate that they do include this separate inventory sheet so that I can easily do that. There's all the info about the kit up here at the top, The Witch and Her Familiars by Cheriyuki, 50 by 73 centimeters, square diamonds, and then I think that's just the model number. So they do pre-bag their drills. So if you like to work out of Ziploc baggies, you can totally do that. Um, I believe that they, when they kind of made some changes with their manufacturing process, I am almost positive that they switched over to resin square drills. And because I worked with squares when I did Hades and Persephone from them just last month, uh, that was again, newer in one of these boxes, new manufacturer, like from this man same manufacturer. The squares were so good to work with. I was so pleasantly surprised because in the past, um, like a couple years back, I feel like their supplier had acrylic squares and sometimes you deal with squares with tabs on the end and stuff like that. But you can see like these are all very uniform in shape. Like I don't see like any tabs sticking off of the sides of any of these. I'm telling you, I was really, really incredibly happy and pleasantly surprised with the quality on the square diamonds of that kit that I worked on. And these look like they are the same, like resin squares, I think. I'm not very good at telling the difference between acrylic and resin. Usually it's not till I'm working with them, but I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Now, if you're curious, by the way, this number here, this is the DMC code. This number down here is the number of ounces. So these were measured out by weight. I had tons left over in all of my colors on my last kit from them. So I'm not too worried about running out of any particular colors or anything like that. Like I said, if you wanna work out of Ziploc baggies and not put these into storage containers, you can totally do that. I am generally too klutzy to work with Ziploc baggies. I will spill and make a mess. Also, my climate is really, really dry. And I find that if I try to work out of Ziploc baggies that I am dealing with more static. Um, you can almost see that some, some of these diamonds are wanting to stick to the inside cover of the bag right there. So there already is some static. I'm gonna cut up a dryer sheet and just stuff some little dryer sheet squares into these bags to help with any, any static and make kitting up go a little bit easier. We have a giant bag of this 3865, which I'm sure is the background color over here. Yeah, it is. Like so the color in the windows and it's all throughout. It's this like ivory color, 63 ounces of it. <laughs> And then here is that color that we have as an option for an AB. Uh, so 318, uh, they've included a full amount in both the regular 318 color and the AB. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you see these side by side, I think you'll clearly see the difference. These have an iridescent coating on the top that's really, really sparkly. It's actually reflecting like green and blue and pink a bit as well. So that is a really distinct and striking effect. And I think you kind of just have to decide for yourself if that's an, an effect that you want to have happening in the area that you're that you're kind of working on and that these are charted. Honestly, especially like with Cheriyuki's artwork, I tend to not use the ABs and just use the regular color uh, of this color, the regular version of this color but I like that they include it as an option. So you can kind of like practice, <laughs> practice like enhancing your canvas just a little bit. So what I wanna do now is just quickly show you where some of that um, color could 
you could use an AB where that symbol is. So I'm looking for the letter F. And you guys, Dye Moon Chops canvases are very confetti heavy. I think they primarily computer render and do some hand touch-ups. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't think we're gonna see like big chunks of like, okay, here is where the letter F is. But I'm gonna point out to you some of the areas I see it lightly sprinkled throughout. So I see some of it sprinkled through this, like this little pillow that this little bunny is sitting on. Um, it's kind of, again, just sprinkled throughout. Uh, confetti is where you have lots of color changes in a small area. Um, you're gonna be mostly single placing those areas and they'll usually take a little bit longer to uh, do areas with lots of confetti um, and again diamond shop I feel like it's kind of known for that but we have some sections of color blocking like color blocking is when you have lots of the same color in a small area so we have a lot of this symbol a which was that ivory color through here and so I can use my multi-placer through there and that'll go a little bit faster um, you can see by the way like there's F's just kind of sprinkled, like one here, one there, one here, one there. Uh, so if you wanted to use the AB, you could kind of give it an overall more like glimmery effect. Um, it's not gonna be like a really uh, deliberately charted like spot for highlighting. It's more just gonna give it a little bit of extra sparkle kind of sprinkled throughout. But you could pick and choose sections, like if you're like, okay, you know, there's some of the letter F in our witch's hair. Maybe that would be a good spot to be like, okay, I'm gonna use the ABs a little bit in her hair. Just give her hair a little bit more of like a magical vibe or something like that. But then maybe like in the background, like, you know, in the background over here, the pillow on the couch, maybe I'll just leave that as a regular diamond and not necessarily one of the ABs. I like that there are options. That's a, a nice, a nice, uh, option for them to have given you. How many times can I say the word option? <laughs> Again, I love this little pumpkin. That's so cute. Um, I love her hat. Uh, it's, it's just, this is such adorable artwork. Um, she's reading her book on the couch. Let's see. I'm looking, we have a little bit of the letter F here, kind of again, across the top of the, is it like a couch or a day bed? Um, a little lounger. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's that, le that letter F is just, kind of randomly sprinkled in the areas that you're seeing gray. So yeah, that would probably be my call is just to mostly primarily use the regular non-AB version of the diamond, but then maybe in a few sections, like, oh, there's a little bit in the ribbon on her hat. There's a little bit of that that color sprinkled throughout. Maybe a few in there could be really pretty too. If you're wanting to um, really look at enhancing your canvas, and if you're looking at this and going, okay, well, I'm glad they included the AB, but I, you know, I might want to do something else. Like what are some other enhancements I can add? If you're like me, and this is not something that you consider your forte or even something that you necessarily enjoy doing, uh, my friend Randy, you can call me butter, uh, started up a small business here called Bling the Damn Thing. And she is so incredibly good at uh, enhancing canvases and you can book a consultation with her and she will walk you through like with your canvas it'll be super hyper personalized um, and she'll talk to you see like what you're interested in and what you're hoping to do with your canvas and she will walk you through step by step and tell you okay here are the enhancement drills that you can order let's you know oh this spot would be good for metallics like what do you think of like some jelly drills over here or this or that um, and so that could be a really good way to go I'll link to a video that she she did recently where she talked a little bit more about that particular service but I just wanted to mention it because like I look at a canvas like this and go okay but maybe it would be neat to like add some metallics and the stars that are hanging over there or something um, but I just am not really good at, at figuring out all the nitty-gritty of that so maybe I'll have to send a message over to my friend Randy <laughs> all right you guys I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna be done with this canvas I really want to get into the other one as well so this is the witch and her familiars by Cheriuki from Dye Moon Shop in the in a 50 by 73 size and I got square diamonds so let me move this and I want to grab this other kit now this kit I I have been kind of eyeing for a little while and then I saw my friend um, Christiane did a piece from this artist from Dye Moon Shop. She actually did a paint by number version, which yes, Dye Moon Shop has paint by number. And I was like, okay, that artwork is really, really darn cute. Oh, this is like double sealed. Okay. Um, and when Dye Moon Shop was running a sale on Halloween, their Halloween <laughs> section, I was like, okay, I really want to give this artist a try. So look at how cute, I love it. So uh, the name on this piece, this is 
Bunny Witch by, and I always feel bad like I'm going to mispronounce this, Mint Katie, but it's so cute. And I thought this isn't necessarily even just like restricted to Halloween. I could do this in the spring or something like that. So you have another basic toolkit and then, oh, okay. So this did come with a free gift that I believe was just forgetting something from the Halloween collections. I don't remember if it was specifically this one or the other one or just in general, but is this like one of those Toki, like the Toki Doki uh, horses? It's so cute, hold on, I'm gonna see. Sometimes they'll do promotions where they have like free goodies like that. <laughs> okay, that's actually really cute though. <laughs> I have a feeling my kiddos are gonna steal that from me. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is so stinking cute. So, 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 so cute. All right, let me roll it. We have a lot of the same features, actually like all the same kinds of features with this particular kit where uh, it's got the same really soft canvas backing. Um, it has the gray border, the search and finished edges, this really nice and sticky poured glue. And same kind of idea with the drill field and everything. And I, you guys, I can't get over how cute this little bunny witch is. Um, I like how, see, this is this is where it makes me go, okay, I think that this, the Dye Moon Shop still does do a mix of computer charting and then hand touch-ups, is that we have like these clean grid lines going on in the background. That was one of those things that I was like, is that gonna translate? Like if it's purely computer rendered, that might, you know, look like jagged lines or like not look quite right or quite uniform. So I definitely look at a piece like this and go, okay, obviously they had someone come in and doing some kind of hand touch-ups to this to um, help this look a little bit more cohesive and coherent. So uh, as far as all the stats on this one, uh, so Bunny Witch by Mint KD. I got it in 50 by 50 with round diamonds. I am not sure if this, I don't think this was offered, it might've been offered in one larger size uh, when I ordered. And I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not totally sure if they're still offering multiple sizes or if it's just the one, but I decided to get this one in round drills because I thought it would, it would still look good in this size with round. Uh, we have 36 colors again, and it looks like our AB option in this one is gonna be 963. And looking at the drill field, uh, Nice to see that we actually, we do have some color blocking in this one again, like the bunny's face is all this same symbol. Um, but a, confetti is also really good and really important for giving a little bit of detail, especially in softer artwork like this. Look at that pretty moon. <laughs> I love the cute little like witch's room. Again, I like that this one is not so heavy on the Halloween themes that I couldn't work on it. And like the spring, like this could totally be like a little spring witch kit, right? Like it, it totally has spring vibes. It's so cute. <laughs> lots of confetti in this background at the top though. Holy cow, lots and lots and lots of confetti. We'll see how that ends up looking with drills down. Little pink puff ball on the end. So the printing looks clear again, all alphanumeric symbols, just like we saw with the last kit. Uh, let's do a measurement. So 50 on the nose and let's see, uh, 50 on the nose. Oh, yeah, 50 on the nose. <laughs> I just wanted to double check that. So true to size, just like the last kit wise, let's look at these diamonds. Look at that pretty happy color spread. I am a huge sucker for pinks and purples, really. Mostly pinks, but pink and purple together. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our inventory sheet again with that original artwork, which like I said on the last kit, I'm gonna cut out that original artwork and put it in my logbook. Uh, I'm gonna cut this part out and feed it through my sticker maker to make labels of 36 colors. Or I suppose you could technically say it's 35 because we have two versions of 963, the regular and the AB. But let's look at these diamonds. So these are round diamonds. We have this giant bag of 550, which is this gorgeous royal purple. Huge bag of that. That's in the background. <laughs> let's see. That's the, is that the letter A? Yep. So tons and tons of it in the background here. Now, I don't know if their round diamonds are acrylic or resin. If you think I'm not good at telling the difference between an acrylic and resin squares, I really struggle to tell the difference between acrylic and resin rounds. 
So several of these colors we just have small amounts of really pretty and happy colors. And just like the other kit, again, this is the DMC color code and this is the weight and ounces. And I wanna make sure I show you that AB as well. Every shade of pink <laughs> and a little bit of yellow. Look at that blue. Was that just gonna be like here in this tassel? <laughs> Some greens. And very, very, very much spring vibes. Okay, so here is, that's our AB. Let me find the regular version of the diamond, but here are those pinks and blushes. All right, so we've got, let's see, 963. So we have the regular 963 and the AB version. Now this is a lot harder. Uh, well, rather it's a much more subtle difference between these two than the AB and the regular diamond in the last kit. So that happens sometimes. Sometimes the AB coatings are more bold than others. I find that the this 963 AB coating is pretty subtle and I really like it. I'm gonna take a look and see where it's been charted, but this particular piece I feel like totally has a vibe where um, this AB color could be really, really pretty. So let's see, that's gonna be a symbol. It's gonna be the letter E. So let's see, there's a bunch of the letter E in this kind of middle pink part of the bunny's leg and some E in here. It's almost like the darker shading, um, like the darker parts of the bunny, which there's not much, the bunny's really light. Uh, a little bit outlining in here and on this side of the bunny's tail. And then a little bit, oh, the cheeks. Oh my gosh, totally the bunny's cheeks. That would be such a cute spot for those ABs. I definitely wanna do that. This lighter part of the flower, there's a little bit of that E right there, that symbol. There's some in the bunny's ears. Totally wanna do some those light pink ABs right there. I think that'd be so cute. A little bit in this flower and this flower, kind of that lightest color you're seeing. So I think those would be really good spots to put that AB. And I think those are the main spots. Ooh, some of these sparkles. Some of these sparkles in the background have the letter E in them. And those would be really good spots for some of that AB as well. So this is definitely a kit where I am going to use the included AB in some of those spots. Maybe not like this random part of the bunny's leg or something like that, but definitely the bunny's cheeks where that letter is, the bunny's ears, like the sparkles. I think that would be a really, really nice spot to swap in this AB. What do you guys think? <laughs> that's my that's my unprofessional opinion. <laughs> but this looks so, 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 so cute. I was so glad that I picked this one up. I think that I think that they were running like a whole Halloween section sale. And that's why I picked these up. And you guys, I'm noticing that Die Moon Shop just generally more often lately is running sales. I recommend following them on social media as well as um, signing up for their email list because that's a really good way to take advantage of and uh, save a little bit of money because Diamond Shops kits I do think are on the more expensive side. I think a lot of that comes from the artists that we're getting access to uh, because these are some really excellent artists with amazing artwork that you can't get a lot of this artwork anywhere else right now. And so I think that really is a lot of what you're paying for. You're also getting a pretty high quality product as far as the canvas material is really nice, the glue is nice, um, the drill quality, like I'm really happy with the squares in particular. And I, I think that the rounds are gonna be good too. I haven't worked with them yet, so I can't say for sure. Um, the rendering, a lot of the thing, a lot of the, the sort of, your thoughts on rendering, it's gonna be personal. Um, because rendering is so subjective, what kind of style you really like. You might really prefer a clean, crisp rendering style, and especially in that case, Diamond Shop is probably not gonna be for you. But if you like kind of the softer hand, a little bit more of that computer rendered effect where it really is like super, super, super true to the original artwork, but where you might have to step back a little bit further for it to really come together. Um, it just is a very different effect and it's gonna be completely up to your personal preference. And so that's why I don't make any like definitive statements about like their rendering is the best or their rendering is the worst. I think it's 
completely personal preference and especially artists like Cheryuki and Margaret Morales and then this is a new to me artist this mint Katie but I really really like what I'm seeing and so there are a lot of artists that I do really enjoy how Die Moon Shop renders their artwork so um, it's going to be completely up to you to decide if the price point is worth it um, and it is okay if it is not and it's okay if it is <laughs> it's it's totally up to you. I hope um, that this video and my goal with this video was try to try to share with you what the different things are that you can take into consideration to make that decision for yourself. And I hope that this did that for you. Um, I am more than happy to answer any questions to the best of my ability. If you want to leave questions in the comments or send me an email, I am more than happy to help. Like I mentioned, I am an affiliate for Die Moon Shop, but I have tried to keep this as unbiased and honest as I possibly can. Um, but of course, want you to know that that relationship is there. Um, I do have an affiliate code, though the way that it's working now is that you just have to include that in the notes box at checkout if you wanna let them know that I sent you please don't feel obligated whatsoever. Like I said, please sign up for their emails and follow them on Instagram and whatnot so that you can stay uh, totally up to date on uh, any sales and promotions that they're running because I feel like you often can uh, save money and not pay full price for your orders. So anyway, you guys, I am so excited to have these kids. And while I might not have the chance to work on them, for this Halloween season, I will definitely, you know, either just work on them in the off season or I'll have them in my stash to work on next year. So let me know what you think. Did you pick up anything from the Halloween sale that they ran recently? And do either of these look like kits that you might want to work on for yourself? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head on out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, including unboxings from a huge variety of different companies, tuto tutorials, post reviews, all the things, <laughs> feel free to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my community here. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.